Grandma, can I go outside? No, dear. It's not safe outside. Hi, I'm Kyla Riley, a youth climate change activist. It's destructive, it's chaotic, and it's existing among us. But it's not yet inevitable. Climate change is an existential crisis that we've been dealing with for decades. The temperature is rising all around the globe. Carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases are rising substantially. This is resulting in wildfires covering mere millions of acres in the world. Ice sheets are melting at an alarming rate, and wildlife is dying excessively without a sustainable habitat. And if you think it's getting better, think again. The last seven years have had the hottest temperatures ever recorded, and the temperatures are supposed to increase 1.5 degrees Celsius in the next 20 years. These temperatures are going to increase the threats vastly if something doesn't change. But like I said, it isn't inevitable. There are five steps that could crucially affect our future. One, use solar power. Solar power is where energy from the sun is used to power electricity. This is a way of using natural resources to sustain life. Two, use public transportation. The reason buses and cabs are there are to help us get from place to place. Use this instead of your own car. This will reduce your use of gas and fossil fuels that come from cars. You can even bike or skateboard to school. Get creative to help our planet. Three, use less electricity. Turn off the lights when you're not using them. Take shorter showers. I know it seems small, but these small acts can make a huge difference in our future. Four, cut down on beef. The more beef consumed by humans, the more livestock has to be grown to take their place. A lot of the methane released into our atmosphere actually comes from the livestock on our planet. If we eat less beef, there won't be as much livestock to put methane into the atmosphere. Last but not least, plant more trees. Trees are a very simple way of using natural resources to demolish greenhouse gases. Trees take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen for us to breathe. If we plant more trees, there won't be as many pollutants that will be able to take over our atmosphere. Follow these steps and so much more. Everything makes a difference. What will you do? <laughs>